Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another home decor haul for you. I know you guys have loved seeing everything that's been going into my house and there have been like heaps of questions asking where everything's from. So I like to put in everything that I've bought into these videos. I've got like another maybe one or two of these coming as well. But anyway, let's get into the haul. Something that I bought a while ago are some flowers from Freedom. Now these are just a posy of peonies and I bought them last year when they had 30% off or something like that. So I got the discounted price. And I also got three of these I forget what they're called. Mental blank of what they're called. But anyway, I got three of these. Now, these ones are actually really quite big, which is great. So these ones I think were normally like 25 each. So I got the 30% off. And then I think that this whole posy was $30, then 30% off. So there's some flowers from Freedom. I love the flowers at Freedom. They are so beautiful. I have some in my lounge room that I just adore. And they're from there. I bought them like for our last house, but they're so beautiful and I feel like they look realistic as well. I have this vase from Adairs, which I actually put the peonies in. I could cut them a little bit to fit them in there better, but I just put them in there and I think that that looks fine. This vase was from Adairs and its normal price is $20, but I got it on sale, I think like 30% off or something like that. So it's just this vase with this rope around the neck of it. So it's like a bottleneck vase. Um, I just thought it was cute and I wanted to fill my house with flowers, fake flowers, because <laughs> I can't keep anything alive. <laughs> then for these ones, I got this huge vase from Target. Now this was only $20, which I thought was really, really affordable considering like the quality, like it feels really sturdy and it's quite big. I think that they had it in grey as well. It fits the flowers perfectly. I could not be happy with how this looks. I love the fact that it's got this bottleneck so it keeps them all bunched together because sometimes they just like flop and look, you know, not right. I love this combo. It's in my kitchen currently. Now I am going to include some furniture in this haul. I hope you guys don't mind, but I get so many questions of where things are from. So I'm going to start with this bed head right behind me. So I actually picked this up from Spotlight and I had been looking on eBay for bed heads because that's where I got my last one from and they're Really quite affordable but then I saw this in spotlight and I think I got it on sale for around 250 but normal price might be like three to 400 I wanted a white one but I was happy with the gray and this is a king bed head and it came within like a week or two and I actually got the chair to match I have a chair sitting in the corner of our room and it just looks so beautiful it's such a nice set they do come in like a natural kind of color as well but I am so happy with the gray I love the butter the upholstery on them is sorry I keep touching my hair it's stuck to my lips the design of them is just so beautiful the only thing is it's a little bit low our bed is actually super high and the bed head is just not quite high enough so we do need to make an apparatus to make it a little bit higher and then we'll be happy with that but the chair is perfect as well they do have a matching blanket box if you are interested but I just went into my local spotlight and ordered them and yeah they are great. They are usually on sale, so wait till they're on sale. So the next thing in our bedroom are our bedside tables. Now we got these from Super Amart. They are in the Chanel set and they are just white. The only thing is they do scratch really, really easily. I would like to get some glass tops made for them. But yeah, they're really gorgeous. The one thing I could change as well, well, the second thing I could change is the knobs. I feel like a chrome knob would just suit the room a little bit better. But the bedside tables are great. They have three drawers, heaps of storage. I haven't even filled mine yet who would have thought <laughs> and yeah they look beautiful in the room also with the bed we got it from super amart so we just got a new king bed we got the oh i can't even remember if i find out what it's called i'll leave it listed down below it's one of the pillow top ones but you also can't feel each other move highly recommend upgrading your bed if you like you know if you're in the market for doing that kind of thing love having a king bed we have slept so much better after having our own space in bed and also not being able to feel each other move has been so amazing as well and then we just got two of the well we got a king bed base but it comes in two lots because they, that's just how they come because you need to get them in your house somehow. But we also got them from Super Amart as well. There's a few things that you would have seen in the dining room makeover that I just wanted to quickly brush over. So we picked up this gorgeous mirror from Freedom. It was actually on sale for just under $200, I think. The normal price would have been about $300, but I think that they've come out with a new 
design of it which is a lot cheaper for some reason I don't know what what is different about it but this one is the cruise mirror and I just wanted it for behind our table on the back wall of our dining area and I think it looks perfect there the other thing in our dining room are the table and chairs so the table I don't know if you guys may have seen the vlog where we vlogged getting the table and chairs but we got the table from early settler it was I'm pretty sure it was called the Mansfield and it was on sale for six hundred dollars I went in there the other day and it was up to like $900 or something. So make sure you do shop around and get things on sale. We just couldn't pass up that deal. It was so affordable. It's 210 centimeters long. So it fits in the area really nicely. And then we actually got the chairs from Provincial Home Living because they were cheaper than getting them at Early Settler. So do, do your homework, shop around, make sure you get the best deal. These kind of crossback chairs are available from so many places. And same with these tables. So make sure you shop around and, and get the best deal for that. Okay, I actually have some cushions to show you, as if I didn't get enough cushions in my last haul. Um, but I got two of these cushions. Now, these are their, their linen, like soft wash linen or something like that cushion. So they're the ones that you can just go into, <laughs> like the karate chop ones. These ones are in like a really light gray, but I got these for the front living room. I wouldn't say they exactly go with our couch, but maybe if we upgrade our couch, they'll go. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted some nice gray cushions and these ones are so nice. I have the pink ones in our lounge room, which I showed in our last haul. Some more cushions. I got these two for one of our spare bedrooms. These ones were on sale for like $12 each. And then I got this one as well for the spare bedroom. But yeah, I'll show you how it's all set up. It looks really, really nice. This one I think was around $20 from Adairs. All these cushions are from Adairs. Okay, I've taken this out of its packaging, <laughs> um, but I got this beautiful rug from Maya and they have it in like a seafoam green kind of color and I think one other color and then this beautiful blush. Now I think I got it on sale for around $40 and it's just so soft and beautiful and then it has a little fringe on the end. I got it for our spare bedroom. It looks so nice in the room. I'm so happy with it. Okay, so in our spare bedroom, along with that blanket, I actually picked up the, I think it's called the Thompson quilt cover from Adairs. It's on the bed now because I had to put it on. And I got this kind of gray, beige color, but I was a bit scared of how it was going to look in the room because it isn't exactly gray, but it looks gray in the room. So I'm really, really happy with that. I got a king size to go on our old queen bed with a king quilt really confusing <laughs> but it looks so nice it also does come in white if you were wondering but Adairs have such nice quilt covers I just love them I also got the two Europeans to match to finish the bed off I got these two cushions from Adairs of course I got this like fluffy white one oh my god this feels so amazing it feels so nice and then I showed one of these in our last haul but it's the honeycomb blush cushion and these are really lovely so that is like my spare bedroom little setup and it's so cute. I did also get some, what are they called? Lampshades from Target for $10 each. They're just like so cheap. The other ones we had to get from Beacon and they're like $50 each or $60 each. These ones are $10. I've only got one lamp in there because I only have one bedside table at the moment, but I'll show you what it looks like. And the lamp I think is just from eBay. It's just a cheap touch lamp that I got a few years ago. Maya actually have some beautiful homewares at the moment if you haven't checked them out. So I also, with that rug, picked up a mink blanket for our bedroom. It's this beautiful gray silver color and I just love it. It's so beautiful. It feels so soft and luxurious and oh, it's so nice. Also with Maya, I got this lamp. Now it's just this beautiful white ceramic lamp. It looks amazing. I am so in love with it. I was eyeing it off for ages and waiting for it to come on sale. And I finally got it on sale. I think it was around $70. I actually put it on layby because I couldn't take it home at the time. Then when I picked it up and took it home, it was like snapped in half and I was shattered. And I actually took it back and they gave me a replacement lamp, which was fantastic. The layby didn't even wrap it up. They just put it in a bag and put a fragile sticker on it. So I don't know at what stage it got broken. But yeah, I love the lamp. It's so gorgeous. I'm gonna have to find where that came from. 
Also in the dining room makeover, you may have seen some prints. Now I got these from Yorkley Prints and I actually picked up a few other ones and I don't know if I mentioned these in my last haul. I think I briefly touched on them, but they are such an amazing site and they have so many beautiful prints. I get questions about them quite frequently. Just keep in mind when you're ordering them, probably get your frames before you order them because you can order them in so many different sizes so you can have them to fit the whole frame or within the mat board. But yeah, they have beautiful prints for your home. Even they, they have kids prints as well so I would definitely recommend checking them out if you're looking to like you know change up the space in your home you can do that really really easily with these prints and they are super affordable as well I don't know if you guys remember in my first haul but I showed this little votive holder from uh, Target and I actually went back and got some black ones because we have a little theme of like tiny pops of black in the house these are only three dollars each and I realized why they're called votive holders because they hold these votive candles that I also picked up so these are $3 each and I think the candles are $2. So the candle just comes in this little glass thing. I just got these ones for our kitchen bench, but they're so cute to just put all over the place. And have them in white and pink as well. Then I got this little duo. <laughs> These are both from Spotlight. The vase was $10 and then the flower was 5 I actually picked up two of the flowers to go in there. But I put the flower in something else which I'll show in the next haul. But I think I might get another one of these flowers. And I just popped this in our bathroom in our ensuite. So just in between the two sinks. And I think it looks really cute there. I don't really find styling a bathroom that important but it just adds a little bit of something to the bathroom if you know what I mean like I just don't want to clutter in the bathroom because it gets so dusty and and dirty but these are fun also wanted to mention these towels that I got from spotlight they're the Brampton house fast dry bath towel in charcoal and we just got a whole set of them for the spare bathroom and I think that they were around $12 each which I think for a normal bath towel I don't think I have the receipt yeah I don't have the receipt but I'm pretty sure Sure that they were on a really good sale. You want to pay about, I mean, depending on how luxurious you want your towels, but I think about $12 a towel is pretty reasonable. And that usually brings down the price of the hand towel and the bath mat and the face washes as well. Yeah, these ones from Spotlight, but haven't tried them yet. So I don't know how well they'll wear. Really happy with our Sheridan towels though. They're like a quick drying one. Okay, the last two things that I want to mention, you may have seen them if you, and heard about them if you watch our vlog channel. In our formal living room slash study, I have two items there that I have purchased. The first one being this blush colored rug. Now, if you've seen the vlog, you would know, but I got this rug for $30 and it's freaking amazing. It is so beautiful. I just love it so much. Basically what happened is they couldn't find where it came from. It didn't have a sticker on it. So they gave it to me for $30. They did have 40% off rugs at the time, but that was just the bargain of the century for me. <laughs> and then on top of the rug, I actually have this glass desk. Now this is originally from Freedom a few years back. It's funny because Dean's mum actually has the same one and I really, really loved it. And then I was looking on that Facebook marketplace one day, a lady posted it saying it's for sale. And I was just She's like, yes, yes, I'll have it. She said that she got so many people contacting her, but I'm like, I'll send you the PayPal money straight away. <laughs> um, so I got that for $150, whereas I think that that would be worth a couple of hundred dollars, maybe $300 or even more if it were brand new, but I couldn't find it one brand new anywhere. So it's this beautiful glass table, like a trestle table with chrome legs and a glass top. I love how because of the glass top, it just, it doesn't look like it's taking up space, even though it does. Just wanted a really lovely place to be able to sit and work at, even though I haven't yet. <laughs> so I feel that that looks really lovely in the space. So that wraps up my home decor haul. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, make sure if you haven't checked out my others, I'll leave them listed down below if you're interested. So make sure you subscribe to stay with me on this home decorating journey. I am slowly getting there. I feel like the house is really come together and I cannot wait to do a home tour. It probably won't be for a few months yet, um, but I will get there when everything's done. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.